Hi and welcome to Tone Control, the program showcasing live performances by artists from the local independent music scene. Featuring on today's show are songs from the band who proved that rock and roll isn't dead, Dallas Fresca. We'll also be showing you songs from indie rock group Feast Mild and a band who draw influences from 60s psychedelia, Far Behaving as Air. We'll also be chatting with members from the pop rock band The Grandstands. To kick off the show, here's one of their songs. You're watching Tone Control.
Welcome back to Tone Control. This next song comes from a band who won Artist of the Year at the 2010 Australian Independent Music Awards. They are Dallas Fresca. You are beautiful the way that you are.
Welcome back to Tone Control and here on the catch we have Mark and Anthony from the band Grandstands. Welcome to the Tone Control show. Pleasure to be here. Hey Al, thanks for having us. Fantastic. Um, there's four of you. There's Lenny and there's also Chris. Uh, yep. And of course, you are related to both of them. Uh, I'm related <laughs> to Lenny. I'm related to Chris at heart. All right. he's, uh, he's, my, he's been my uh, best mate since high school. Uh, we went to school together. Uh, and Lenny, yeah, we've... Uh, I've known him since he was zero. And so you, you and Chris and Lenny have been hanging out, but then Anthony came into the scene. Yeah, I don't, I don't hang out. Um, <laughs> I just arrive and then I do my thing. Yeah, Anthony just comes leave, in, man. like puts, Business. puts the tea towels on the drums. Put the hours in yeah, the time sheet, then you leave. Uh, we met Anthony through <clears throat> an old, uh, our old, like, before we became grandstands, we had a lead singer. Um, who introduced us to Anthony because we needed a drummer. Yeah, because I'd been jamming with him for some other projects. And then Worlds Combined somehow and... Yeah. And yeah. voila, grandstands. Yeah, we played a few shows as Pool Shark. Actually, it was quite a funny show at... It where was, was it? Wesley, was the Wesley Ann. And back, it was like end of 2012. Um, they had this weird thing where they have a decibel reader and if you play too loud, the, the whole sound system cuts off. And you play too loud. Well, we, I mean, we're quite quite a quiet yeah, band, we but pulled it off. we still. There was one time I remember, like towards the end, and we were just like vibing, and then yeah. like just cut off. It was right That's at the really end. Really funny like, show. It was right at the end, right at the crescendo of our big song, yeah. and the whole power just cut yeah. off. Yeah, it was kind of a great way to go. But out, it's, it's like, I find it funny because like everything everything stops except for the drums, and then it's like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. That was pretty great actually. Yeah, a uh, few years later, you're coming up with an EP or an album. Yeah. Now, you, you released a single a few months ago. Yeah, yeah we released Getting Out. Released Getting Out. Filmed um, at the zoo. Which we had a nice film clip for. Filmed at the zoo. zoo. That was Lenny. a good little, good little single with a couple of B-sides. Um, did you say your own single was a good little single? Can't just do that. <laughs> I like <laughs> to have opinions of my own. You are the main songwriter though, you can say that. Uh, yeah, kind of. I don't know if I can, I can take the mantle of main songwriter. That's just like... I wouldn't say I'm the main songwriter, I just write the most songs. Your upcoming album will be out in a few months' time. How's yes. that going on? Yeah. It's going to come along pretty good. We're about to get it mastered. Um, we recorded it about across about a year, would you say? No, two, six, <laughs> there was two stints that were like six months apart. I think we've st yeah, yeah? We, we, it's taken us at least Josh a year. Josh Bach, thanks Josh. Good, good times. Yeah, yeah. Legend. <laughs> just send us the invoice. So, so cheap, so good, love it. You haven't paid for we'll it. We'll pay for it soon. Oh, By the time you see this, we'll, we will have paid. Yeah, I reckon I we'll, promise. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about paying for it after this interview. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it took us a long time to record it just because people got stuff on and Josh as well. Um, and we wanted to do it right. Hmm. And we wanted to have the right material as well. Like we recorded half of it and then we kind of recorded, uh, sorry, wrote two or three more songs that we really liked and we wanted to have on the album. Yeah. So we organised another day of recording, um, and recorded the new songs plus some ones that we wanted to redo. Uh, and now it's finally getting mastered mm. and it'll be out, uh, yeah, hopefully in a few months time. Downloadable? Yep. MP3, vinyl? We'll definitely have, uh, definitely have it downloadable. Potentially on vinyl, we're very hopeful to have it on vinyl. Um, might even have it on tape. Uh, I got a friend of mine, JJ. Yeah, we'll have it on old school, <laughs> old school tape. <laughs> yeah. I have a friend, uh, JJ, who uh, runs an excellent label called Whale's Mouth, um, and he's been nice enough to say that he'll put it out. Um, and I guess it. It'll either be he does a lot of tapes, and he said um, he'd love to put it out on tape, and there's a potential for vinyl there as well. Wow. Okay. It should be. So, uh, our viewers, watch out for that. Um, it'll be coming out in a few months' time. 
where can they get, uh, that is our viewers, get more information about your upcoming release and any gigs that are coming up? Do you have a website or a uh, Facebook site? Yeah, we got Facebook. Yeah. Only old Facey yeah, just grandstands. Get on, everyone's um, got Facebook. Type, type grandstands into the little search bar and you'll find us. Yeah. Um, so I, I, don't, I just go on Google when I need to look about a gig Grandstands date. Band? Grandstands Band Melbourne. Yeah, that'll, that'll yeah. work. That'll do. Mark and Anthony, thanks for coming in and performing for us here on Tone Control. Thank you very thanks, much, Al. Al, love your work. Welcome back to Tone Control. Voted one of the top 50 most loved shoegaze and dream pop tracks of 2012, here is Far Behaving As Air.
And that's the end of the show. We hope you enjoyed the program and hope you tune in next week, same time, same channel. But before we go, if you'd like to contact us, send a message by email to tonecontrol at hotmail.com.au. Please visit our website at tonecontrol.tv, like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We'll leave you with a song from Dallas Frasca. See you later. Bigger at the ready, don't be a fool. There is more behind to what you see. Bigger at the riddle, cause of when he lies, my world was blown. I nearly died, yeah. I said I nearly died.